I am a doctor working with the Air Ambulance. I've been here for about five or six years, uh, formerly in the Army for 20 years before joining the Air Ambulance Service. Um, and I fly pretty much every week on a regular basis. The biggest challenge to Air Ambulance work is the logistics of delivering the care uh, in somebody's house, anywhere in the whole of the East Midlands, uh, any time of, uh, of the daylight hours, and finding that patient and delivering good quality care out in the street. Um, it's a logistical challenge. So our average day here at the Air Ambulance, we would arrive around about uh, seven in the morning. We'd get all of our equipment checked and ready uh, and loaded onto the Air Ambulance. The main thing for us is checking that we have everything we're gonna need um, at an incident later on. We then do a full brief with the pilot on weather, any aviation issues, any uh, obstacles out there that we're gonna want to avoid today. Um, and then very much waiting for the phone to ring from ambulance control. Um, I think one of the most critical things is working alongside the paramedics here. They are full-time members of staff. They're a huge credit to the service and they are regular and they are full-time here. A lot of the doctors uh, come on a you know, more ad hoc basis, but it is the paramedics that are the backbone of the air ambulance um, alongside the pilots. Um, and I have to say one of the best aspects of the job is knowing who you're working with, knowing how experienced they are uh, and joining them on shift.